Hello everyone, today I'm going to partially test a common mode choke design that I did find on TRX Bench. It has a nice way to explain how this is working and what parts you need and uh, more important, it has the right tools to test this. I don't have uh, what it takes to test uh, this. Unfortunately, I would need a, a vector network analyzer, which I clearly don't have. But I did wanted to try it uh, regardless, so I did order uh, an FT240-43 core, and I got um, uh, this uh, Teflon, PTFE Teflon uh, cable from eBay. It is said to be silver. Uh, yeah, it comes from China. I made one mistake is that I order 16 gauge. It's a little bit too big. You can see here the coiling is a little bit rough here. And it, I need to put both tie wraps on top of each other to make it fit. But yeah, this is what I got. So um, I'm going to connect this uh, with a dummy load uh, connected here. And I'm going to check if uh, the SWR is affected by this. Just so we we make this uh, clear, uh, both uh, these wire is coiled this way, and this pair of wire is coiled this way. But you need to connect both center wire here together, which is what I did here. You can see here and here it goes this way, and both exterior wires are uh, on the bottom side here here and the other side is right here. And when you do this uh, on the opposite side, these two wires, these two center wire are going to be connected with the two exterior wire. And these two center wire are going to be connected with the two exterior wire. This is important because you can mix up your center um, and your shield there. Uh, so just to be sure that everything is okay, um yeah so i can connect uh, the shield here not the shield but the center here so i have continuity but no short here and same goes with the shield i have the continuity with the shield but not with the center so i'm going to hook this up to my radio and see how the swr is responding on all hf amateur band i'll be right back all right, I'm back. So I've connected this end to the radio and this end to my dummy load. So let's see how um, the SWR is going to respond uh, with uh, this type of connection as it is. So I'm on CW, you can see current draw SWR and power. That should be roughly uh, around 15 watt, not to uh, uh, overload the uh, dummy load there. So, nice stable power and current draw, no SWR. Yeah, power is stable, current draw is still stable. That's cool. Even though it is far from being installed properly, you know, in a in an enclosed box and with short connectors and short cables, it still seems to be working okay for the SWR that is. That's nice. I know some of you guys are probably thinking what the hell is he doing this is the only thing I can test right now so yeah with the proper tools it would be better but I just wanted to see if this would affect the SWR uh, since 
it is the only thing I can test right now. And right now I'm quite satisfied by what I see. 10 meters. Can see the power and current seems to be pretty stable. Cool. Let's go see on 50 ish. Let's lower the power here. Yeah, 50 megahertz seems to have a little bit more. I see the power dropping a little bit there. Not sure why. That's for fun. Uh, I see some a little bit of movement. So now I'm moved to full power, 100 watts, just for a couple seconds, just to see. So this is full power. You can see uh, 18, maybe 18 and a half amps of current draw. A tiny, tiny bit of SWR. Just one one bar is lighting up on 50 megahertz, uh, just for fun. Let me go. Let me lower this down here and let's try 40 meter at f at full power. Nice. Yeah, full power on 40 meter. Let's go 160. Cool. 10 meter. Nice. Well, up to now, I'm I'm happy with the result I'm seeing on the SWR. I was afraid that th this would mess up uh, 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 all the SWR and uh, it seems to be uh, working okay. Uh, even though I'm not knowing the exact type of cable I'm having here besides knowing it's PTFE uh, Teflon cable and it's said to be um, a silver wire. As for the SWR seems to be working so now I need to find someone who can help me test the real purpose of a common mode choke um, yes yeah, to see the the attenuation we're going to get on the common mode um, for that uh, it seems we need a, a vector uh, network analyzer which I, I don't have so yeah I hope I'll be able to make a second part uh, where we can test this uh, for its real purpose. So don't forget to visit TRX Bench. Um, and well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and bye-bye uh, for now.